<coughs> Hello everybody, this is Squidgy and welcome back to my series on Scrap Mechanic. In this mini series inside my Scrap Mechanic series, I'm trying to build a helicopter. As you can see, this is what it looks so far looks like so far on the outside. <coughs> got a load of thrusters on top cockpit and then it's got something inside and my extension challenge was to build a mini house inside as you can see i've got tv table chair um some engines sink coffee machine and a microwave and some counters <coughs> so so far this is uh, what happens when I fly it. It's a uh, bit front heavy, which is surprising. It must mean that the glass is heavyweight. If I can even get out. Right. So, what I was thinking of doing, well, what we need to do is uh, add some heavy weight on to the back. Now, we need to find something heavy. Um, I haven't added a toilet in, but you're not going to be living on this. Um, you've got the mountable spud gun, <coughs> which will work. Um, I might try, I'll probably put this on. Put it on, see how it goes. I might, no, I probably won't be able to. I'll thinking I might be able to um connect a seat to it seat to it that could be controlled uh, as in can be turned and stuff but probably not gonna happen these are heavyweight how high is the door door goes there so uh, if I put these around here maybe there's a real point about using these. Spud guns can only really cut through, um. They can only really go through cardboard. Maybe in the next episode or whenever I finish this, um, I might set myself. I might set myself a chance to try and use the spud guns to, um, destroy some cardboard stuff um put one there but i've got to also be careful to make sure that it's i don't make this too back heavy because it, it would mean i've put too many spud guns on <coughs> and in case you didn't know clues in the name but they shoot out potatoes they only fire one way i just realized i haven't added any turning on this so that might also be what's on the back, but if I try it now, obviously the spud guns won't currently work because they're not connected to a switch. Still front heavy. How heavy is this glass at the front? It must be really heavy. Does it? Is in my inventory. How heavy is it? It's medium weight. Okay. Stuck. Can't crouch. I'll just go into the seat and see if I can get out of the seat. What's on TV? A random cooking show. Right. <coughs> I'll connect the spud guns up for now. Uh, put it over here. Rotate it a bit, make it look great. Right, connect this. Uh, where are they? It's these ones. So I need to add in steering. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. Um, I could try adding thrusters that just turn me. I think there's also a thruster in this mod that turns by uh, 
uh, by using WASAD to like you press A, it the thruster the thruster will turn to make you turn left. So if I press three now, no, that's not very useful. One of the facts that the ones the guns that I put on the roof are just shooting my own propellers. Two the fact that I put connected them via a switch. They're not rapid fire. So I'm gonna have to reconnect them but using uh but using button. Just gonna get rid of that switch. Oops. Don't worry, I can replace the chair down. It was this one. They're not that hard. So I want a button. Uh button, button. An enter button, that'll do. Put the that here. Uh so I want it oh quite big. Still a button. Uh, chair. There we go. Right. Same connections. That's a one. That is two. And this is three. <coughs> right. Connect that to that. And this one. Because um, the ones on top. We'll just be shooting my own helicopter. <coughs> we all won't be, although it won't be doing any damage, it's just a waste of space. And as you can see, as I push the buttons, there is a way I can make it fully automated. So I just click the switch and it would rapid fire, but it wouldn't rapid fire as uh, fast as this, probably. Right, so as you can see, it's shooting potatoes. Um, Right, what shall I try now? So, we've still got the problem of, wait, maybe, well first I need to remove the thrust, uh, the spud guns that are blocking um, the way, if I can even get out of here, which is increasingly becoming impossible. Right, so let's go on top and um, try and find the thrust that I'm talking about. Oop. And duck. Right, I wanted to get rid of this one and this one. Um, I. Now I'm sure it's here because I've seen it. I've seen it before. Um, I'll probably skip it. Is it here? Where is it? These are jets. Mini thrusters. Jet thruster. Got grav. Oh, here it is. It is. What is it called? It is a Wasad thruster. Um, these will go forward as well as left and right. Here we go, um, don't know which way I actually want it to be, um, I want the Wasad face, the control panel facing up, uh, we'll put one down, see what we get, put it there, where's the, Control panel. There it is. It is currently in Wasad mode. <clears throat> um. Oh, hook this up to the seat. See what happens. And if that's the correct way, then I'll put some more on. If it isn't, then I won't. I need to add a switch. <coughs> <coughs> if I can find them. Go for um, I'll go for this one. 
no point of always going for the same switch. Got to mix it up a bit. Uh, if I can place this switch down. Probably not the type of switch you're expecting on a helicopter. But it'll do. Where is it? This one. Right. First four. Is it on? And zoom out. Yes, it's on. Now. Ah. It's uh. So as I press the A key, it's uh. The thrust is going down as if it wants to go up. Yes. Right. So control panel needs to be on top. We now know that. So if I uh. Exit the seat if I can. Help! It's the impossible escape helicopter. Only the smartest can escape. That should be the selling point. Right, let's go up. So now we know the way that we want it. We can place them all down how we want it. So we need to, yeah, so that's the control panel at the top. I'm just gonna have it one out, otherwise, it's a bit uh, odd. Have one there, one there, and one there. Are they equal distance apart? Not sh uh, no, there's a uh, one. This one goes here, and that one shouldn't be there. Right, so if I hook all of these up, I should hopefully be able to move forward. And it might, probably hasn't, but it might sort out the weight distribution problem. Because there's no physics in scrap mechanic whatsoever. None whatsoever. So like with a plane, you need thrusters to get it off the ground. Because you you can build you can basically build a plane that takes off on the spot. You don't need to have a run runway with planes. And also the um engines don't gather speed over time. You just have one speed and when you turn the engine on it starts at that one speed and ends at that one speed unless you change it right two close right four sorry uh so yeah that is go up down uh left and right it's um right so it follows the command if i press w the thrusters go up but it means that it's going down so uh well wrong button right so it seems to be heavier in the top left corner of the helicopter Might be because of all this. If I can get out, which is increasingly becoming unlikely. So, wrong button. Uh, how do you get out? Right, we don't really need a microwave, do we? Get rid of that. Get rid of this. What happens now? One. Still heavy in the top left. Uh, yeah, top left. Um. Well, these are mostly at the back. Um. 
Maybe. I'll probably get rid of the copy machine. What does this do now? It is now just front heavy. Now, how is this front heavy? Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, right. Someone left the thrusters on, and that someone is probably me. And now we've got a lopsided vehicle. Um, oh, and it's just thrown me out. Right, let's pick this up. The great thing is, you can just pick it up and drop it down. Okay. Maybe we didn't place it down far enough. Same again, didn't place it down far enough. Right. There we go, are we happy? Good. Um I'm just thinking why it be a uh, going straight to the front. How heavy are these seats? They can't be that heavy, surely. Um medium weight and these are lightweight. That rather odd, if you ask me. Mm. Not sure. Maybe if I add a gravity module, it might help. Um. Well, I could have this on. Have a bit of fun with it. Actually, it'd be a. Uh, say this one would look best with it. Um. Oh, did I not put the anti gravity gravity module down? Yeah, there's two. One for like the world and one for like a ship. Don't off and on, I think. That goes there, and then that goes there. You can see the amount of connections that are. Wrong button. No, that one. Uh. So inside the ship, you now do a grab. Well, I think the one that we actually want is not this one. I think I might be incorrect, but I think the one that we want is a world one. The one that will put anti gravity on the world. It's really cool with stuff like a spaceships to make it look well, to make it feel like you're in space. Put this over here. Get that pumping. Hmm. Not sure if it's uh, working correctly. Yep, that's working. As you can see, we're floating up well into the sky. And we're now stuck. Do you think about this? Let's we're able to bring us down using these. Come on. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, might. Gonna have to do it this way. Put that there and then sit in the seat. And then I'll pick up my vehicle. 
So now that we've got a form of anti-gravity, it can uh, help. Why can't I place this down anywhere? Wrong the wrong the turbines. Right. And if I take away that, yeah. Good thing it doesn't affect the humans, but us, as in the people working. Looks like we'll just be stuck in the air because there's no one. Um, there's no like you got crouch, but there's no like real jetpack or anything like that. Um. So that's all we have time for in today's episode. Don't forget to like or and slash or subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want more if you have any other games that you would like to see me playing leave a comment down in the description and in the next episode we'll be finding a way to uh, even out the um, helicopter once it's taken off so thank you for watching again and goodbye bye